it to you? Definitive happened. You got a takedown, but the biggest land, the biggest strikes were from Dan. But definitely one and two, absolutely. And I had a 10-8 round for for one because he. Um, I mean, that was that was the end of the fight. Right. Well, then that'll make it a draw from your standpoint. Yep. Yeah. So either a draw or a win because five is close. You can't. Well, you know, I, I I clearly gave five to Henderson, being that they, I think they were about even with the strikes. He got the takedown. And I think he landed a more significant punch in the fifth. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't much. In like he, nobody got there behind with yeah. you know in the fifth. But I, I thought Henderson won the fifth. Yeah, well, I mean, just looking at him side by side, somebody yeah. got their butt whipped. So what do you? I mean, what do you think the next? Um, who's 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 Bisbee going to get next? You think? I mean, are, Derek, are you going to get on the mic and try and call for it, or do you think by you have to by November? Trying, you know, yeah. I'm I'm think a, by the end of November they're already going to fill that slot. Do you think? Yeah. Um. From I mean, everybody's thinking probably the winner of. Uh, Rock hole, Jacare probably, but mm -hmm. uh, who knows? You know, I go out there and get another first round finish. That'll be what five in a row, and then I'll be time to renegotiate a new time contract on a new ownership. On a new ownership, right? And you time just straight up done. give me a title fight, or well, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fighting again. They'll be like, all right, peace. Title <laughs> fighter, I'm joining the union. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. We laugh. We laugh. So close. It's so close. Fighter union, here we come. I'll, I'll headline it. I'm with you guys. We need a union. I've talked about this many times. I, don't, I have no problem. I think we need uh, we need strong fighters to 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 stand no, up it's and fine. Uh, yeah. No, it's good. It's, this this definitely what you talk about. I mean, I, we need, we need strong fighters and popular fighters that can that can headline and and and. Let everybody know that it's okay that we need not only for, for better pay, but we need dental and medical. And what happens if you get hurt? Where's your 401k? Where's where's right. anything? Where's any? I mean, every other sport in the world has. A I agree. Union. That's it's only fair. You know, it's not like you like ask for something crazy. No, you know, it's, it's, it's not. Only I mean, fair. it's not fair. It's, it's not fair to what we're doing because, like I told you the other day, Jim, if, if you were Derek Brunson playing football or baseball, you'd be a ten million dollar a year guy at least. At least. Yeah. Right, and why are you not now? Because we don't have a union. Because if Derek Brunson doesn't fight, but this guy will do it for two thousand. Oh, UFC, I'll do it for for two thousand dollars. I fight for free. I'll fight for yeah, free. Yeah, Put me I'll in. Fight for free. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's our problem. We need we need yes, league minimums. Would. We need we need everything. We need to pay our dues. And, and and like I said, it's not only pay. There's so much deeper that needs to be happening with the union. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm when it comes, I'm gonna be I'll be front line saying I'm I'm cowboy and I'm fucking pro. Trump and pro union. <laughs> Don't ever say that again, pro Trump. <laughs> uh, who knows? Trump does. Trump, Trump is the McGregor. I was a scab of fucking... in uh, in high school and college. I was a I was a work. So when when the unions would go on strike, I would uh, break the rat. line. Yeah, I would walk the trucks in. I was I was I was. They they hired some tough guys to walk the delivery trucks in to make the sure the union guys didn't beat up the truck drivers and then the employees would get off work and I would walk them out to their car to make sure walk them through the the you know the picket line to make sure they got to their cars safely so like my views on unions especially as a libertarian um not a big fan of them but today for instance as, as I'm looking at this big old bruise on my arm where I got my blood drawn for fight medicals for for our fight cowboy uh, thanks for calling me and yep. telling me you're going to do that we discussed that two days ago that we we're going to work together I got I got done. it figured out now so okay, I still nice. have to, it was to yeah. now now you got it easy cheesy for you yeah, got it, nice. I was like negotiating I was like what if I, I pay cash can I get this at a discount the fact that a top level UFC fighter on the biggest fight in UFC history is negotiating with a lab tech about how to pay for his medicals out of his own pocket is insane just put that together. So do you feel like maybe these should all be set up for us? Like they should be like, Tim, listen, Tuesday at 2 o'clock, we've already paid for everything. You got to go in and just here you go. I'm going to send somebody to us. Send someone to us. Yeah. Or, or we just walk into a clinic. We walk into a hospital. You can do everything there in two hours. Boom. Get your MRI done. Get your CT scan done. Get your chest x-ray done. Get your blood work done. Get your EKG done. Get your urinalysis done. Yeah, we have to do all of that. It's pretty crazy. It is. No, I agree. That sounded that sounded real good. You know, get all of it done at one. Because you know, as a fighter, after training, you're tired. You don't feel like you know. It's a go it's like the hardest thing for two you do. hours. Yeah, it's, because it's the thing you're two hours of your time you're eating, your time you rest, and now you have another practice right, right after that. Time, yeah. So now you got to get your blood work, try and figure out how you're going to eat, get your MRI. You know, you got you got to either minus a practice or or you know take a whole day off. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, I skipped midday workout today, so I could 
try to get a third of my medicals done. I just wait to the last second until they beg me to do it. <laughs> She's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell the matchmaker if you don't return it by this day. I'm like, all right, cool. I love it. What do you think about USADA? You guys happy about USADA? You pumped on it? I mean, is that something that, like you're talking about, this guy who's cheating all the time? That both, Yeah, yeah I, like, you, I like USADA. You know, um, sometimes it's kind of annoying. I think one time they tried to come at me about, like, uh, um, not filling out my whereabouts on time. And right. it was like, whoa, you're just going to be a failure. I'm like, listen, don't. Don't link me anything like this. That's freaking. I like pretty much cause the fuss and they they hit me back and it's like I'm sorry, you know. Like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like don't come at me like you know. Because I'm two I, days late. Yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. You know, like that's not reasonable. Like you guys have my phone number. If anytime you need a test, you can come find me. You yeah, know? yeah. So, but um, yeah, I like the whole thing. You know, I think it keeps guys honest. You know, you can't really jank the system. I mean, of course, guys are still going to try, but sure. your and percentages are, are going to go down. You they know? are. People will be less likely. You know, because that's yeah. the randomness is in place. You know. But you see guys that go and train in Thailand for six weeks, or they uh, pack their bags and and you know they they go and work on kickboxing and with the Dutch guys, you know, like, yeah. And then, and then they look like completely different people when they come back. <laughs> so guys are still getting through the system. Um, I think it's kind of weird, intrusive that I love USADA. I yeah. love that they just come and can do it anytime. They just have to remember that they're coming into our home and I don't think people understand how intrusive it is. For yeah. example, last time I got tested like a week ago, this guy came into my house and, uh, and I was like, I just got back from a workout. He's like, oh, all right, well, we can't um, take blood for an hour. So I'm like, all right, well, I got to take a shower because yeah, yeah. I just got done with the workout. He's like, well, I have, to, I have to visually keep my eyes on you the whole time. I was like, well, I'm taking a shower. And so I walked in my bathroom, took my clothes off. He walked into the bathroom with me and watched me shower. Yeah, I think uh, and you don't have any I'm... problem getting naked because I've been with you for the last couple of days and seen your dick four times at yeah. least. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. At least. And well, he was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, do you, uh, should, I, should I rinse again? Like, should I put more soap? Like, my ball's clean. And uh, <laughs> so I he watched you. He 100% watched me. See, he I, sat... would, I would be cool with that. I don't really like that. You know, I don't want a male to see me undressed. I'm not going to sit there weird. dirty after practice. Yeah, I know, but I, but I agree with you on the intrusive part you know? Rainworm staff. yeah but on his defense or on the cheaters defense they could be sneaking off in the bathroom to do something sneaky yeah 100 percent. oh i i i i'm i just wanted people to understand like yeah. i get an ice i get a, i got a threat from isis um on like a monday and they came and tested me on a tuesday and this car pulls in but i kind of live out you know in, yeah. in texas hill country and this car is going Creeping. along towards towards my house this whole entire time and i was like Oh, hell no. Yeah. Right? So I zip up in my driveway, pull my gun out, and this and this guy, this truck pulls in, and he's like, oh, I'm with USADA. I'm like, cool, come on in. You know, you take whatever you want. Um, yeah. Now that I know what you are. Yeah. But, uh, and then they come in and watch me sour. I mean, it is, they're, they're there. They'll knock on my door at six in the morning. They'll knock on my door at nine why at night. Why is that? Why is that? I don't, I, why the six, at, six in the morning and night? They came here at 11 o'clock at night one time. 11 o'clock at 